These are the horses that make the life-saving antivenom called Aniscorp. They live on this tranquil family ranch in central Mexico that they share with milk cows, roosters, and sheep. Once a month, the horses come in from the field to do their duty. That's Dr. Andres Alagón explaining how the horses will be injected with scorpion venom. They start small, injecting the equivalent of half a sting. But in six months, these horses will be injected with an amount of venom equivalent to 100 stings. The horse will respond by making antibodies against the venom. And those antibodies are found in the horse's blood. So, once a month, the horses get a good scrub down. Then, they are taken into a holding pin. And the ranch hands prepare to draw the horse's blood. They disinfect the horse's neck. Then, they insert a needle into the horse's neck vein. The blood travels down through this tube. It goes through this wall and into a sterile laboratory where it's collected. This bag holds just over a gallon of horse blood. The blood will eventually get sent to a lab where it will be processed into this, anti-venom. My name is Fred Fox, MD, and I'm the medical director here at Heal Health Resources. And this is the study drug, Aniscorp, we use for scorpion stings. Fred Fox is a doctor at a clinic in Morency, Arizona. He receives vials of Aniscorp because his clinic participated in an FDA study of the drug. The youngest patient to receive Aniscorp was this little girl, Riley Wagley. She was just 25 days old when she got bitten by a scorpion. Without treatment, she could have died. Today, she's a normal, healthy four-year-old. But she still has to watch out for scorpions. In Arizona, there will always be a need for good anti-venom. That's a lot of them, huh? 